Hello everyone, this is me, Satya here, and I'm back with the daily read for the 2nd of February 2023. Let's see how the day is going to be for all of you out there. We do have our first card here. Let's see what it has to add to the daily energy. Um, but before I dive into the read, let me remind you, it's a general read. It may, it may not resonate with everyone out there, so always pick the signs and messages that resonates and leave the rest. For personal reads, you can always reach out to me on my email ID. In the description box, you can also check out other services that I offer as well in the description box. So let's dive into the read and let's see how the day is going to be for majority of you. Um, we do have Page of Cups. Um, I really feel like you know there is somebody in your life who you are having a lot of feelings for. You are going to um, face the feelings, but at the same time, not going to take any action. So I really don't see you running away from your feelings that you have for a specific someone. But at the same time, you're just going to kind of keep your calm. Uh, you're not going to let yourself overwhelm with those feelings that you're having towards a specific someone. Um, if it's your person's energy, I really feel like, yes, they are acknowledging that. But at the same time, not going to express it, not going to open up. Um, for those of you who are mirroring each other right now in any possible way, I feel like, yes, you both are feeling same, you're mutual, you, you are having mutual feelings, but at the same time, not ready to take action. Um, then we have two swords. It's just more like, you know, you both know what you want, but at the same time, you feel like probably I'm not going to choose this one for now. I'm not going to choose to this connection now. I'm not going to, uh you know, take action now. So it's, it's, um, it's, it's more like, uh, for whatever reason you feel like, you know, the time is not right, or, you know, your person is feeling the time is not right. The, the feelings are slowly, but surely, uh, being accepted, uh, by themselves, by you. Uh, but at the same time, it's, it's, it's like, it's going to still take time to open up about these feelings. Wow. Three of Wands and the Empress. For those of you who have surrendered your love life completely to the Divine, um, I feel like, you know, slowly but surely, uh, you are basically evolving as an individual, both of you. And I feel like, you know, the delays that you have been experiencing in your love life with this person is uh, definitely going to bring you what you want without a doubt. It's more like you're being prepared, you and your person. You both are uh, on an individual journey that you are kind of like, you know, evolving into a better human being, better person, better lover, better husband, better wife. Um, you are becoming that version where you could have a blessed union. Uh, and I feel like, you know, this, these delays are just a process that you have to go through. So you are ready and prepared for a blessed union. Um, and I feel like, you know, you are now in the making. The other person is also now in the making. At the same time, the good thing that has happened or that is happening today is they are acknowledging their feelings, but at the same time, trying to kind of absorb it for now, not being expressive at all. Um, so I really feel like, you know, yes, probably you are going to wait for them. They are going to wait for you. So I really see that there is like a patience uh, around this connection and the union that you desire. But at the same time, um, you're letting things come to fruition. You know, you're believing in the divine timing. You're letting it go. You're surrendering it. You are like not running or chasing after it. You're just believing that it will come to you when the time is right. And trust me, if you are so strong in your... Um, in your belief that you know something beautiful is going to come it will happen it will come it doesn't matter who's going to take action towards who god is going to provide you with an opportunity where the two of you could come together and express love and feelings and emotions that's how it you know it's going to be easy it's not going to be like you know something that you will have to work towards everything is going to fall into place if and only if you have faith now, for those of you who are completely single, who have nobody in your life right now that you can start a new chapter of your life with, it's very important right now for you to believe that God is going to be kind and is going to bring you somebody who is exactly how you want your love life to be. Somebody who is ready to come at, somebody who is ready to give, somebody who is ready to, um, you know, um, take action towards you. 
So instead of letting yourself go back to the old ways of dealing with love life, old ways of dealing with the, you know, people, just stay strong and believe that something beautiful, committed, loving, fulfilling is coming your way. That faith is something that you need to instill and nourish right now. Once you have done that, you will see miraculous change coming up for you in your love life too. So I really feel like, you know, it's more of a day where you're going to be like, um, trying to absorb the love that you're having for a specific someone, for a situation that you want to change, that you want to evolve. And then you're going to allow things to happen. You're not going to chase anything. You're not going to beg anything. You're not going to be like, you know, running after anything. You're just going to allow things to happen. On the other day, we do have the tower. Now, this is very interesting because I really feel like, you know, for the majority of you, um, you are going to have a lot of struggle. Right now, you're feeling like you need to talk about your feelings, your emotions, this and that. But at the same time, it's very important to keep yourself calm. Right now, probably you're feeling like, you know, why things are not happening. But then there will be moments coming up for you today where you're going to feel like, okay, fine. I got to relax. I got to kind of like, you know, um, calm myself down. Uh, there's a lot that I want. And what if I go back to old ways of dealing with things? You're going to kind of contemplate. You're going to kind of like, you know, see, see it for yourself. And then you're going to feel like, no, it's better if you let it be. If It's better if you kind of like, you know, allow the divine to take care of the rest. So I feel like, you know, probably for a majority of you, you're finding it very hard to stay strong. But this energy is going to be replaced with a very calm and serene energy. And I feel like, you know, that's where you are going to start feeling good again about your life overall. You're going to start planning you know, um, something else for yourself that is going to kind of like, you know, keep you so occupied that you're not going to feel this, this way again. So you're just going to kind of surrender completely and fully to the, to the divine timing around your life right now. Let's see the lucky color for you for today. <clears throat> wow. Gray, learn to scan your body number 29. Take your time out today to scan your body. Make sure that you're taking good care of your body. Make sure that you know if there is something that you feel unusual uh, of, of, your, of your body. Um, make sure that you get it checked or scanned. Um, 29 could be a significant number today. Great color is going to be lucky uh, for you today. But at the same time, yes, make sure that you scan your thoughts more than anything else because that's where, um, you know, the magic happens if you really want the magic to work. So um, let's see some miracle guidance. Let's see. Um, I'm not gonna take the soul card today. Let's uh, take another miracle guidance for you for today. What else can be coming in for you and what do you need to do? <sighs> Meditation at the night time is going to help you a lot today. Uh, so make sure that you are taking some time out in the nature. Um, you know, um, at the night time under the moonlight um, because that's when your psychic abilities is going to be heightened so if you choose that time out in the nature it's going to be very beautiful for you so um, it is going to help you get the intuitive messages that you are feeling to do indoors so yeah that's pretty much it coming up for you for today if it was of help do like share and subscribe till i do the next read for you guys take care bye